part is centers and another name is rotation. But we'll talk more about those later. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, corners is where we have four areas of learning in our classroom. Each day we rotate to a new corner. A few students make up each corner each day. Why do we do this? So we can get more done in a shorter amount of time. Anyway, this description will go on forever, so I'll stop here and save you some time. Let's get on with the fun part. Let's take a look at corners in action. Oops, in corners we have to be as silent as possible, but we are allowed to whisper for help. Let's go in. So in corner one, they're working on math um, for the math test. Don't forget corner two, the spelling corner. Working on the things we always work on spelling. Today we're reading about Mercury and the workman. Here in corner three, they are working on their daily, daily geography. The daily geography is picturing the world this week. Here in corner four, they are working on the spelling. They are practicing for the spelling test coming up. Thank you for listening. Bye! Hello fellow students and parents. I like to talk about art. It's definitely one of my favorite subjects and possibly yours. The art classes that I am going to talk about are being taught by Miss Marie. Currently, we are learning about still life and having a lot of fun. The classes are at different times for each class. Miss Marie's classroom is in the fourth wing, room 26. We do art because we want to express ourselves and be creative in an artistic way. We do this through colors, shapes, different objects, and feelings. We love art. And behind me, there's some art that we did recently in Art Doses. Hello, I'm reporting live from room 15, the science lab. Ms. Mackin teaches science. We do one or two experiments every Thursday. Now we are learning about the human body. One experiment that we did was making blood using corn syrup, synonym red jelly candies, white jelly beans, and candy sprinkles. One fact is that your body has 5 million red blood cells, 10,000 white cells, and 250,000 platelets in a drop of blood the size of a pinhead. Hello, I'm Nicholas Randall, and I'm here to teach you about uh, P.E. at Foothill. Miss Wallace teaches P.E. outside by the basketball courts at lunchtime. This year we have already learned about soccer, hockey, and gymnasium. We have yet to learn about many more games or sports. Hello, Miss Wallace! I'm Miss Wallace. Wait, actually not, not that one over there. Actually... That's it. Bye. Hi, it's Maya, and today we are learning about computers. So first off, Miss Watson is our computer teacher, <laughs> um, and we go every Monday morning. The thing that we are doing in computers is digital security, meaning a good password. So let's say that you do one, two, then um, a letter, and then like the at sign. That could be a good password. But a bad password is one, two, three, four, five. It always has to have letters, numbers, and symbols. Next, we're learning about digital footprint. It shows your, uh, your online reputation for in the future. If you want to get into a good college, they'll look at this and see if you have a good reputation. Last is cyberbullying. We're learning about all the different ways people are cyberbullying to other people uh, online. For example, on a, a website and someone posting an inappropriate picture or video of someone or saying mean comments to a photo that you posted. And last, we are doing a project. You could either make a Go Animate, create a vid video, or programming a game. In or using Scratch. 
We could either do digital security, digital footprint, and cyberbullying. That's all. Bye.